Given your technical expertise, I'd like to ask you a, a broad question about a technical issue. One of the, the great merits of technology is that it changes so fast uh, that it brings us better and better things, but it also creates problems with legacy information. And I'm particularly interested in the issue of open XML and the broader question about standards and your belief about how, how things like open X, XML and standards, uh, international standards for the Internet, uh, the, the pros and cons of those, and where you see those heading. Well, thank you. That's, that is an important area because we're building up more and more records uh, that you want to be ac able to access and understand, and you want to be able to preserve those records over a period of time. In fact, these uh, digital archives will cover uh, a lot of people's activities, and you know, parents will want to be able to go back and get uh, essays from children, or researchers will want to be able to go back and get the data uh, from different experiments. And even libraries, a lot of their collections will be in this digital format, and you'll want to be able to, to access that. Uh, Microsoft is very engaged in the standards process. Uh, there's a, a new standard that we put in front of the International Standards Organization called OpenXML. And it uses XML in a, in a way that means that anybody using uh, our software or other software that meets this standard will be able to access it uh, out into the future. So it's very important to us that uh, OpenXML uh, become an ISO standard so that uh, families and researchers and archivi archivists worldwide will be able to access information from the past and use it to interact in the future. And it's by mining data like this uh, that I think a, a lot of the advances in understanding how education is best done or understanding what should be in the, the medical field. Uh, so it's a, both an important thing for innovation and an important thing for uh, citizens to, to have access to information. I, I appreciate that. I actually have, believe it or not, some old five and a half inch floppy disks in the CPM format, which uh, if I'm ever achieve anything of note, some poor librarian is going to have to go find an old CPM machine and dig out my great works from back then which will not be hard because <laughs> there will be very few. But uh, I think your point is well taken, and I, I applaud Microsoft for its leadership in this area and, and the whole issue of standards.